Good morning, everybody. We are halfway through the Tailgate Alaska Festival, and we're gonna go get after it again today. So uh, let's go do it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. Good morning everybody we are up here in thompson pass it's a really snowy day which means it's going to be a down day because when it's snowy you get really flat light which means everything looks white you can't see where you're going so we're gonna make some coffee and a little bit of breakfast and get our day started let's see how it's looking outside Dumping. Pretty warm though. Get the oven fired up, and we're gonna make, by make, I mean just put in a Lily Bee's bean rice and cheese burrito. Just throw it in. Look at that delicious thing. Brick. Yummy. Want two of them? Kind of want two of them. You know what I mean? Let's have two of them. It'll be my lunch also. In. Right. Okay, let's check on them burritos. Actually, I almost forgot about them. Hopefully they're good. And the burritos have arrived. I think today, since it's just kind of dumping snow outside, I'm going to take the time to offload all the footage off my cameras, upload it on the laptop, and do some editing. And, uh, just catch up on some life in general, so. Oh, I want to give a shout out to Chago. He sent me a random Yeti mug. Um, put the truck house live thing on there. It's pretty sweet. Um, this mug's awesome. Thank you, Chago. Really appreciate it, man. I'm about to use it to keep my coffee warm right now. Instead of using my coffee cup this morning, I'm going to use this Yeti mug to actually keep my coffee warm all freaking morning. Cheers, William. This is a great way to spend a down day right here. A little coffee and a little bit of editing. Not too bad. Honestly, I actually enjoy the process of editing and creating videos. It's I just think it's kind of fun and it's a great thing to do with your time on a day like this, so win-win. So I go step out on my porch because I was about to go uh, give Jeremiah and Haley a bump up the mountain to go. And if this is what I think it is, I think someone literally just left me a pair of Pit Viper sunglasses on the porch. Almost don't even believe it. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> it totally is. That is awesome. Cool, get a new pair of shades. I just wanna thank you, Ricky Bobby, personally for, uh, for this ticket here. And uh, these Pit Vipers, right on, man. It's a slightly overcast day outside, but the weather's starting to try to pop a little bit. So we're going to go try to get in the mountains. Beautiful morning out, gearing up to head up. I don't know which way we're going just yet. Looks like people are already poking up gully one up there. Gully two is untouched. Looks like some people are just now heading towards gully three way out there. Gonna be a good day. Good? Officially made it 
made it to the glacier, uh, the skiing and the snow should start getting deeper up here. So should be good. You guys coming in. Absolutely gorgeous day. It was supposed to be pretty nasty out today. And it's anything but. Was so good. Oh yeah, dude, this is it. A blast up this. <laughs> There's a really chill one you can do way back there too, just like super low angle. But this one's fun once you get a trail going. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I did something cool the other day. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So where do you go up? Board. Right here. You just start punching trail up. For a high mark? Yeah. Yeah, just like don't get under 10 miles an hour pretty much. You just want to like, when you start to feel kind of slow, just go ahead and turn around. Okay. People wait too long and then it just gets really tippy and they trench. Yep. You just like, you just, it's pretty easy. You just turn around like while you have a little bit of speed. Okay. Yeah. I'd be interested to see how this thing climbs. track yeah you went right up yeah right. made it easier it's just, it's getting easier now it's starting to set up a little bit the, hey, uh, Tim, does that flatten out at the top then oh uh, yeah well, once you got there's a huge bench once you get above what you can see up there the perfect timing at the crest of the hill <laughs> that's a ghost right like we can get up there too we don't even have to double really you can just ghost ride your sled down you know you just like let your sled go down and just ski down behind it you know Oh my god. Get ready to get some ghost laps in. Sending the sled down this hill. Couldn't ask for a better day out. Yeah, I usually just hold my key, you know, so it'll like just pull it out. Thank you, Timmy. This is uh, Yeah man. I'll never forget you and I'll never forget this. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Memorable every time. <laughs> Get it, Jimmy. All right, I'll see you guys down there. Snow is super good. I feel like I can snowboard again. Freaking love this board. Actually, feel like I can kind of ride.
Woo! It's so deep. Ugh. So here's the ghost technique. Come sit down on your sled. If you get to a flat spot, fire it up, ride to the edge. survived the day that was incredible there's like two plus feet of blower powder up top pretty rad someone left a pair of pit vipers in the porch for me that's pretty rad <laughs> and uh all's well well that's a wrap y'all stay tuned for the next video where we continue the tailgate alaska festival experience and if you did like this video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one peace y'all